Without dialysis, <laughs> I would be dead. <laughs> For 23 years, 40-year-old Vajkom Kananga of Budiriro has suffered from end-stage renal disease, a condition which requires him to go for dialysis sessions twice per week for five hours per session as his kidneys can no longer function normally. On a certain day, I was going to go to the hospital. And I was going to go to the So... Yeah, a few days later, Nanda to Zimba Miruese. They tried to manage the condition for about a year. Remember, I fell sick around February of 2000, and then I was commenced on dialysis in January of 2001. That was almost a year later. And Jajagui to keep up Nanda to Zimba Miruese, appetite and my U and E's. You know, the blood tests that they do to check for kidney functionality, they were skyrocketing. So then they told me that it was advanced renal failure. From dropping out of school to contracting other infections along the way, the condition has altered his way of life. My life has been turned upside down completely because I had plans, I wanted to go to school and do a degree, probably in economics, but I didn't get to get there. Part of the complications associated with the chronic renal failure, you will have weak bones, a condition which they call renal hysterodystrophy. So once you have chronic renal failure, you need to be taking some phosphate binders to help strengthen the bones, calcium supplements. So with time on the dialysis, most patients will eventually have weak bones and they will need uh, walking crashes. Apart from it being a physically exhausting procedure, dialysis is also financially draining. <laughs> dialysis is a very expensive uh, treatment. Uh, in fact, they call it a rich man's disease because <laughs> a lot of money is needed to kind of manage a patient with a who needs dialysis. Because sometimes you go to the dialysis unit and they tell you they don't have one, two, three consumables. You have to fork out from your own money. According to nephrologist Dr. Privilege Charambira, the evolving of science and medicine has enabled people like Vashko, who are suffering from end-stage renal disease, to live a longer and better life. Dialysis is crucial for patients who would have been diagnosed with end-stage kidney disease. As you would know, the main function of the kidney is to work like a, a washing machine of the body, if I can put it that way because it's there to remove all the excess water, salts, some of the toxins that uh, one would have taken in uh, throughout the course of the day. So if you don't have an exit for all those um, extra things which are supposed to have, have been uh, removed by the kidneys, they are going to accumulate. And uh, the patients will then come in with uh, all those electrolyte derangements and fluid overload and inevitably they are going to die. A person on dialysis can actually live uh, a long and um, uh, quite uh, comfortable life uh, because now we've got different modes of dialysis. You can be on hemodialysis where you need to uh, visit a healthcare center maybe twice or three times a week or you can be on uh, peritoneal dialysis where you're actually receiving your dialysis at home. Um, and now it's even better because they are cyclers. You put yourself on a cycler, you get your dialysis uh, throughout the night, the next morning you go to work. Or if it is a child, they actually go to school. As the world commemorates World Kidney Day, specialists in the area are calling for preventative measures and screening for adults and children to ensure kidney disease is picked up earlier and corrected. With more than 1,000 cases of kidney disease being recorded in Zimbabwe each year, government is chipping in to reduce the burden for affected patients through providing hemodialysis services for free in all government hospitals. Abigail Tembo, ZBC News, Harare.